Frankie is going to have surgery. Um, it is now scheduled for the 21st uh, of this month. And then hopefully a few days after that, he'll, he'll come join us. When was this decision made, and what's been going on with him lately? I know he was shut down for a little while. Yeah, he, I mean, it, it's been a couple of different shutdowns where he was getting built up. Uh, you know, then he went out and saw Elitrage, who cleared him to, to go again. He was building back up and just still wasn't quite right, so went back, and, and now we've gotten to the point where they're going to go in, and he'll do, he'll do, they'll scope it, and, uh, and then, you know, we'll, have a better idea of the time frame, you know, once that happens on the 21st, and then hopefully he's here a few days later. Do you know what surgery it is he's having? You said they're going to scope it. Do they know scope what's it. wrong in there? No. So, I mean, you know, they have an idea. I mean, he, once they're in there, they'll know, you know, do they have to, you know, you know, touch the labrum or touch the rotator cuff, and, and that'll, you know, determine, you know, if you have to add weeks to, 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 to the surgery. Brian. So based on what you know right now, what is the timetable for his return? Best case is he would be back late in the season, um, but we're really going to know um, a lot after the 21st when, when they know specifically what they have to do in there. Um, you know, if, if it's just the scope, then, then there's the potential he could be back late in the year. Before you guys traded for Frankie, I, I know he was dealing with shoulder problems with Oakland. In, do you believe that he was pitching with shoulder problems with you guys after you guys traded for him? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, because he, you know, he had shoulder issues when he got to us. So, um, you know, I, it, and I think with all these pitchers, you know, you can look and you're, you're going to have this similar things. That's why, especially with shoulders, they don't race into shoulder surgeries all the time. You know, you can treat these things and sometimes these things lay dormant, sometimes they're asymptomatic, sometimes they become very symptomatic. For Frankie, it was just that, I think, nagging thing that allowed him, didn't allow him to continue to get over the hump, you know, whether it was the first go around with Oakland and then when he came to us and eventually, you know, got shut down, was able to get back. But then as he's tried to ramp up here a couple times this winter, um, he just hasn't been able to kind of get over that hump to, to be who he knows he is. Eric, just following up on Chris's question, I mean, do you wonder if you traded for an injured pitcher? Um, look, we knew when, when we traded for him that, um, you know, he had, he had missed time with a shoulder, so, you know, I, I mean, that's the nature of a pitcher, though. You know, they're able to get back on the mound and, you know, pitchers will go sometimes their entire career with, if you examined them on an MRI from a shoulder standpoint, there's, you know, labrum issues, there's rotator cuff issues, but things that they're able to pitch with all the time. So, you know, Obviously, having dealt with a shoulder situation and that it's manifested itself to where he's had to go to surgery, yeah, there's some level of that. And then when you look at your rotation mm -hmm. overall, what jumps out at you? Excitement still. Um, you know, obviously, you know, losing Frankie is clearly a blow. Um, and, and, you know, unfortunately, we, we haven't got to see him pitch like we know the pitcher that he is. But we also feel very confident in, in you know, those are that are going to now maybe get an opportunity because he's not there initially. Um, and, and the de depth that we've built up, you know, we feel very good about the rotation um, that we will potentially go north with um, at the end of next month. In the back, Meredith. Aaron, you spoke about the potential opportunity for guys that maybe wouldn't have had a shot if Montas was in that rotation. Who are some of those guys, and, and how do you see that shaking out? Um, well, I mean, you know, I think when you map it out on paper and Frankie's in that rotation, um, you know, you got you got guys like Domingo Herman and, and Clark Schmidt that are, you know, right there on that cusp of being, you know, that – you know, fifth or sixth starter or whatever. So feel very comfortable with those guys, know what they're capable of and, and excited for their seasons. But then there's always people you bring in that, um, you know, are going to have more of an opportunity, are going to be closer to breaking through. And, and, and you always see 
um, you know, surprises each and every year of, of guys kind of kicking the door in, taking advantage of an opportunity, um, and, and maybe a guy that you're not thinking of right now that kind of develops into um, that next level of player uh, at, at this point in their career, and, and you go from there. So it's, you know, I, I'm excited about the talent we have in the room.